from the command center of the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. Thanks for watching. Guys, uh, we're trying to do uh, a 4S configuration now here or maybe 8S configuration, which I still have batteries for that. Um, we might use a BMS here uh, or active balancers. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna show you what I have. These are the top band, T-O-P, B-A-N-D. is a 3.2, 25 amps. So lithium ion phosphate, then I have my active balancers here and the connectors as well. As you can see, these are active balancers. And I'll put the... Um, The information on the description below <clears throat> these are the wires for that and um, we might probably wire up this thing it has been sitting there for a long time since uh, this ones came from China because um, it's not a US made so I bought online and I know it's not from United States, but this one can uh, work with LTO. It can work with the LFP and uh, with the um, uh, lithium ion, I suppose. Well, like I said, I'm going to put that on the description below. You can see the type of batteries right here. The, okay, NCM. There you go. LFP. These are LFP See so it works with this and the LTOs I never own LTO batteries right here So these are the specifications you can see right there is J the JW6 or 7 or 8S active balancer which is a uh, 1.3 volt active equalizer one active equalizer volt is 1.3 volts so these are the wires so we might probably do a little project here and see how everything works um <clears throat> these balancers are for 24 volt i have the um i have more batteries of these so i just want to show you um what we can do since we've been waiting for batteries to come to complete this one or uh, top band um, installation so I might as well try it in a smaller system because the system I'm building the way I set up the batteries I'm not gonna tear them down anymore and just um, because I've already used a lot of uh, Kempton tape on it I will show you quick stay tuned before doing that, I'm going to just show you what the system is doing here with the, um, the Volkswagen, e, Volkswagen e Golf batteries. And uh, we are making power. We got some sun today. And um, it's very early in the morning. So we already put in about uh, 0 0.5 kilowatt hours. And um, with the Outback system, and which is here. You've seen this system before, and we are charging the batteries, and we got some loads going on. So 100 watts, the freezer is running. I use the Nissan thing, um, quick disconnect, and here goes the uh, Outback, and I have um, Midwest a 30 amp disconnect. Like a main panel like we use for RVs then I have these batteries here which is the Panasonic the CCG battery lithium ion no um, yeah lithium for ion phosphate batteries you've seen this bank I created and I have the other ones down here um, I don't know if you can read that the LG I think it's the LG cam yep so this one old bank is wired in 24 volt and 
I have the Midnight Solar Kid. This is the white one, the first one ever we already have on this channel. And it's charging, it's putting about 60 watts. I just have two flexible panels out there, small ones, 50 watts each. And it's bringing some power. So, you see the connection here. So, back to a topic here. These are the top band batteries I was telling you guys. So, I have right now uh, six. This here from here to here is six. And six right there. So, it's 12 plus these four. 16 plus the four. I started filming with that. It gives you 20. But I have the big thing back there. You see, I already put all the Kempton tape. I already... Um, I was I wasn't done connecting it put it all together Because I was still waiting on the batteries then I was shorted and ran out from battery hookup So I was gonna run about 80 of those So 20 on 12 volt 20 on 12 volt something like that to so get 24 volt so this system is trickle charging this is uh, where I set it up this is for the um, the uh, system, this midnight is supposed to have like a box here that goes here, covered up. These are the terminal comes out. So it's, I think it's a M, 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 N, S, something like that. Midnight solar the extension. This is what they use for the RV boats. So I have um, a fuse on this battery here, which I think is a 80 amp or 20 amp. I can't remember, but I uh, think... I don't want to break things here walking with one hand. Oh, yeah, it's 20 amp. So then I was running it with the Samlex here, which is a 24 volt system, 300 watts. I was running my flat screen TV with a 70 inches. So, yeah, so these are the projects I'm doing right now. Stay tuned. Coming back to these active balancers and the batteries. And we have the boss bars that came with this. Uh, these are a flange, shredded flange nuts. These are the ones. And the, the, the things that's just too flimsy, I was, I was telling you guys before, it's not as heavy compared to, it's aluminum. It's not, it's not like nickel. Um, it's a, a copper plated, whatever. No, oh, they are just aluminum compared to the Nissan Leaf. This one, I already chopped this one off. Compared to the Nissan Leaf um, boss bars, they have weight. You see the copper on them? Even though I cut it, you see the copper right there. This is aluminum. Look, do you hear the sound? Listen, listen to this. See? Tin plated copper um, coated. Listen to the, the sound and listen to the sound of the. Can't tell the quality, it's not that good. But this is what we have to do. On my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to um, go about wiring this system for just. For fun and see where I can able to utilize with this <clears throat> on a 24 volt system. Well, since these are just a 25 amp hour batteries, I was gonna stack them.